Hi there. So let's look at the spin tool. So let's tab into edit mode and uh, you'll realize that there are, or see here that there are no screencast keys and that is because the screencast keys uh, crashes Blender while working with the spin tool. So no screencast keys for this video. So the spin tool, there's no shortcut key for this tool. It's available through the tools menu right here, selecting this and we'll see the widget for it coming up right here. We have some settings for a spin tool two settings to be exact, uh, one steps and then uh, an axis uh, that we can set and the axis uh, become uh, quite apparently important uh, right from the start here. So I'll just go to the front orthography view here, hold shift and right click to move the 3D cursor and the widget will move with it and then we'll change the axis here to have the um, the widget change and the tool change which axis it will spin around. So let's hit one there again and then press the plus sign here and you can see that we start to spin this around. We can also say the steps here are the number of cuts that we will get. Now I can't change this because we've already done the spinning. So you'll have to change that before. However in the operator panel down here we can still change the uh, steps as long as this uh, tool is active and we haven't made any other operations after this tool. We're still actively in this operation here. We can uh, manipulate this. Um, we can change f um, this from, uh, from this uh, menu as well. Okay. The Once we have uh, spun out like this we can also adjust uh, the bending side to side and on the uh, the other axis here so we can have something like this going on here uh, and we can also select use duplicates this will not actually create uh, like a tail like this and instead it will just um, add our uh, create copies of the selection that we had from the beginning. So it can look like this. Right, and from here we can do all sorts of things. So this can be quite useful. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. And um, this is um, pretty much the spin tool. We can continue pressing this plus again to spin out, out multiple times. Each time we press a plus button here, it's going to be a new uh, operation, so we can't uh, change the previous operation through the operator panel down here. If we decide to spin out once again, we can only change these, uh, these last pieces here if we decide to do that. Alright, so I hope um, that clears up everything about the spin tool. I uh, hope you found this interesting. If you're interested in more tools, check out the link in the description. That goes to an article that I've written about uh, many, many tools on uh, that we use in the edit mode. Alright, thanks for watching.